Tomorrow, the man accused of sexually torturing a woman will face his victim. She's expected to take the stand. The alleged attack happened in December 2022 in Pine Hills. Bruce Whitehead, who already spent time in prison for sexually assaulting another woman years ago, served his time and had been released when the attack that happened that he's now on trial for. As West Jews Michelle Meredith warns, the details of this case are very hard to hear. So we have one more witness we have to get in before lunch. Bruce Whitehead, the man with the zigzag tattooed face, faced a series of experts who took the stand. Like the deputy who said the victim easily picked Whitehead out of a photo lineup, and the detective who interviewed the victim in the trauma unit right after the attack. You have six photos. The horrific events of the early morning hours in December 2022 were detailed in the arrest affidavit. It started when Whitehead allegedly offered to pay the victim $850 to paint her for an hour. She agreed, got in his car, which started the ride from hell. According to the victim, Whitehead drove her to a wooded area in Pine Hills where he allegedly cut the victim's clothes off mutilated one part of her body with his teeth and a pocket knife, allegedly bit her neck, forced her to perform a sex act on him, burned her buttocks with a lit cigarette. Then, when she thought Whitehead was allegedly trying to kill her by stabbing her in the chest, she was able to get away and was found running naked through the streets of Pine Hills, screaming for help. Whitehead was found five days later, all documented in body cam video. Also shown, a picture of a glum-looking Bruce Whitehead with a long scratch on the side of his face moments after they took a DNA sample from his mouth. The case is expected to go to the jury on Tuesday. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, Washington News.